All right, um, we've done a couple of videos about um, the differences between quitting smoking and quitting boozing. And I thought I'd do another video today just to sort of point out what I think is the biggest difference between the two. Um, I've said before, you know, this is, I've quit both of them. <laughs> I, I smoked for um, probably, yeah, 35 years. Uh, and I drank for over 30 years, not as much as I smoked, but um, I stopped smoking before I stopped drinking and it probably helped me to stop drinking alcohol. But um, one of the reasons why it took me so long to stop drinking was because I didn't really want to stop drinking. I didn't have it in my, hand, my mind that I wanted to stop drinking. I always knew that I wanted to stop smoking because I always knew it was bad for me, right? You know, this the information has been there for a long time. You get up, if you're a smoker, you get up in the mornings with a horrible cough and you, you notice the the um, the physical effects, the physical consequences of it much more when you're, um, when you're a smoker rather than a drinker. I think there's a... Um, there's a lot more of a play on the hangover, uh, especially as a bloke. You sort of look at yourself and you know, you're know you taught to, to see yourself as a tough guy if you're able to put over the hangover without moaning about it, you know. That's no problem, I don't get a hangover. I can drink as much as I want, you know, that kind of shit. Um, but I think one of the biggest differences between drinking and smoking is the 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 life effect that alcohol has over you uh, much more than the life effect that uh, quitting smoking has right um, or the life effect that drinking has over you rather than the life effect of smoking um, as usual these videos are sponsored by habits v2 which is our um, our online mentoring coaching program uh, we've got tons of premium videos on all kinds of topics it's step by step taking you from preparation transition through transformation we've got our forum um, there's a lot of good people in there from all walks of life uh, new members all the time and uh, we've got our zoom calls and I'm there every day to uh, help you out any way you want if you want to take a trial of the program it's down below there's a link just click on that and you can get a, a trial for seven days for one dollar good investment in yourself um, all right One of the biggest ways that I see this is in, you can smoke a cigarette and you can get on with your life. You know, you can pop out and have a cigarette during your lunch break and you can move on with things. You can't do that with alcohol. And when you drink alcohol, it sort of precludes everything else. It stops you from doing a lot of stuff in your life because you're drinking. So alcohol, no. So cigarettes don't affect your brain in the same way as alcohol does. Now, you know, you could argue over the toxic, uh, the toxicity of alcohol uh, versus the toxicity of cigarettes and how much damage they're causing to you physically. But when you drink alcohol, um, the more you drink, the more fogged your brain becomes. The, you know, alcohol stupefies your brain. It makes you into a, um, it made me into a moron um, when I was drinking it. And those effects last over quite a long time after you've stopped drinking you know think about it think about um alcohol as a depressant and think about everything that happens in your mind and in your body because you've been drinking alcohol um think about the drunken feeling think about the staggering the the slurred speech the i mean one of the things that i used to know is well, i stopped drinking alcohol for uh, like i said a year previous to this or 10 months I was off and when I first started when I first stopped drinking I went into the pubs with my mates and tried to sit there with them and just you know shoot the breeze while they were drinking and I wasn't and it was the most boring time and I didn't realize why until many years after I'd stopped drinking this time and it was because alcohol um, depresses your brain cells it, you know it basically gets into your body and kills your brain cells um, so you're not able to think at the same speed as you would be under normal circumstances so a topic which would be very 
um, a topic that seems interesting while you're drinking alcohol is going to be really boring when you're not drinking alcohol plus you're doing the same thing over and over again you're talking the same talk over and over again the same shite do you get what i mean so it's a scrambling effect on your brain that just doesn't um i don't think it compares with smoking you know like i say you get that toxification of your brain you get the toxification of your body with cigarettes but it's not the same thing with um the stupefaction or the scrambling of your brain that, that um, alcohol gives you i mean you have to live your 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 life in the moment and as i say in the moment alcohol um puts you into a stupid state where you can't do anything else so just think about how that affects everything else about your life think about it how it affects your relationships you know um how how does it affect your conversations with the people that you love how does it affect how you um conduct yourself around those people how does it affect how you interact on a more general level with these people in your life do you know what i mean so certainly affects your relationships in, in um oh. And then compare that to cigarettes, uh, smoking, and you know, I mean, obviously it's an antisocial habit. You know, if you're trying to kiss somebody with uh, with a cigarette mouth, then yeah, it's not so good. But it doesn't affect your relationships in uh, in such a big way. Same thing with your finances. I mean, when you're stupefied, you're not going to make the best decisions financially. You're not going to make the best decisions in so many different areas of your life so you know just think about from that perspective that um if you're given a choice of which one if you're a smoker and a drinker and you're given a choice of which one to stop first my advice would always be to get rid of the alcohol first because you're gonna you're gonna have so much more upside to stopping drinking alcohol um your brain will clear you'll start thinking clearly about a lot of stuff you it will give you a bigger boost in terms of um you know when you stop drinking alcohol you have to deal with so many different areas of your life that you used to drink alcohol in, or you you try to hide from your life with alcohol so because you're dealing with those then you can take that experience of stopping drinking and apply that to stopping smoking and even if it takes you two or three months the advice is to continue to smoke um you know don't try and do these two things at once because they're both different enough that they will take um, a lot of energy in order to 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 get rid of and um yeah you need all the energy you need to focus your energy on one thing at one time uh, focus your time on one thing at one time so um that's the advice for that um but yeah if you're gonna if you're gonna stop one thing get rid of the alcohol because the alcohol is really stopping you from moving forwards you know you can move forwards and you can still make great progress in your life as a smoker um you know the the smoking is definitely bad for you but Choose alcohol first, get rid of that, and then move on to something else. I'm Kevin O'Hara for Habits V2. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe uh, and click the, the bell notification to get notified of any other videos that we're coming about. And if you like this content, give us a thumbs up. Um, it really helps us. Take care of yourself, and I'll speak to you in the next video. Um, keep the alcohol out of your mouth. I'm going to Bye now.